What up, YouTube? What up, what up, what up? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. It is, it's your boy, it's your boy. Man, catching some of this good old uh, sunset right now. Just got some food. All oh, this, I'm smushing my food. Ooh, wait. Just went and got some uh, fresh grub, man. I got some, oh, snap. Uh, man, uh, just wanted to come to the water, reflect, and just kind of catch up with you guys. I haven't been on YouTube in a minute. Um, just because I've been really, really, really um, locking in on business shit. Uh, a lot of things have been going great. Um, I don't want to give too much on camera, but I do want to bring everybody up to speed. Um, everything that's going on, this 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 view right now, though. I mean, this view is just y'all gotta see this view. This view right now is just it's just everything, man. Look at this. This this view is just you know. And you know, um, I want to just kind of just give y'all some, some, um, some like you know, catch up, catch up vibes, right? So, um, everything's been going good, everything's actually going great, right? Um, I don't know where to even start, so like, you know, I feel like, um, I finally just wrapped up <clears throat> everything on my attorney. Uh, more details will be coming out, I can't speak on too much about too much stuff, but kind of regarding what happened with the Corvette. I can't really speak on too much, but shout out to my attorney. She did a phenomenal job uh, getting the case, um, you know, um, where we needed it to be because there was a lot of shit going on with um, the insurance company and they was trying to like, you know, uh, pull some some fast ones, but we got everything figured out. So shout out to the attorney on that because everyone's been asking me, what's going on with the Corvette? Like, I mean, listen, uh, shout out to the cornball at the dealership who didn't put a uh, gap on the car. He kind of, he kind of, he kind of screwed me over a little bit, and um, you know, that's a big loss, right? Losing a hundred twenty thousand dollar car, um, it put me in a financial uh, pickle that was not cool. Um, I'm a hustler, though, you know. Um, no matter the circumstances of what I gotta go against, I'm always gonna come out on top, right? Like. I've had I've lost 250 G's, homie, and that's just in one barber shop. Lost another 70 thousand in my Lacey barber shop. Lost money in Vegas. Like I've just took a lot of big hits in my life. I'm talking about like like catastrophic hits that I'm not supposed to come back from. And I still be um you know bobbing and weaving this shit, man. In life, you know what I mean. And, and um you know life has really taught me the uh, the position of 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 a uh, of responsibility. And not living beyond my means, not like uh, being financially irresponsible. Um, there's a lot of great things that I've been I've been getting involved with. I've been in rooms with people. I've been around, associate myself with. Shout out to Brittany. Um, I would not be where I'm at without Brittany. Now I put the work in, but Brittany has also like allowed me to position my platforms alongside her. And um, shit's just been able to like I've been able to ground myself and really get everything in my pods. I'm working on a lot of shit behind the scenes um, as far as like a new barbershop and like, you know, um, investing in other things. Um, I don't want to let too much out, but um, I'm a lot smarter than people think. And I saw it and shout out to Brittany. We we got some shit cooking, um, some big shit cooking. And Brittany's on fire right now. Like, um, I love what she's allowed, um, you know, herself to build and, and work on. And um, she's... She's building something that's like bigger than bigger than life, right? Like she's building something that's um, huge, and I'm just I'm happy to be alongside her. So I've been helping her with leasing out um, units, and um, you know that kind of brings me into what my new role in real estate is. Right, I just signed with a new company um, called Skyline. Um, shout out to them, and I had a colleague of mine um, had you know I was I took the whole month of May off of real estate just to really lock in on other things, uh, get my shit back in order. Right? I had so much stuff going on, and I was just trying to get everything aligned. And um, you know I got involved with a new team at Skyline, not a new team, sorry, a new like a new company at Skyline, and um, you know that to me has been great, right? Like um, I got to bet on myself. You know I'm a hustler. I'm a grinder, I'm a go-getter, and I'm a bet on me, and I'm gonna invest in me. So that's who I trust. I trust Tasma Holloway because I know I'm gonna get up, go get it, and go do what I gotta do to get things done. I'm not I'm not putting my fate in no one's hands. Not in these times we're living in in the world. Like, 
you know, um, they got AI, they're interested in AI and all type of shits going on. So you gotta really, you can't, you can't be dependent on people no more. Like there's too many systems in place now, um, you know, where they're going to implement in, um, AI and it's going to foresee a lot of jobs and move people out the way. So I got to bet on me. Aside from that, um, still doing, we, we got everything rocking and rolling, but, um, Turo's been going good. You know, um, Turo's going amazing. Um, actually we're, we're heading, we're in peak season right now. So, um, I'm actually waiting for one of the, our deliveries to come back right now. We've been super busy. Um, shout out to my boys. We've been on the sports betting, um, books going ham on that. Um, um, what else, man? Um, just wrapped up open house earlier. That was dope. We had a, we had a, it was kind of busy, you know what I'm saying? So, um, I'm just happy to be in position, man. Um, I had one of my young homies reach out to me earlier, man, and ask me, man, how do you do it? And to be honest, I don't even know how I do it. I really don't. Um, life is not easy, man. And anybody that's playing this, this, this little facade that it's easy and it's not hard, they're full of shit. You know, um, life is hard and life is not, life is not, um, like some little easy, just little game you play. Like I always say I've lost more than I've won and I've, clearly like you know um just been kind of put myself in position um with the right people and i think that's what's kind of helped me um and getting away from the nigga mindset right like a lot of people are caught in this nigga mindset like like you know um and, I, and i'm saying that in the in the in the in the in the, in the way of I'm, I'm done with the nigga mindset right like i'm done with you know worried about who's hating on me and worried about i'm really just locked in on what the fuck i'm doing and what i'm building and and what i'm with and i don't care who's against me i i just know that the people that are in my little bubble of life my children my mother my niece my nephew Brittany, and like uh, my colleagues that I, I rock with that's my focus anything outside of that I, I the wall is up the gate is up and you know if, if you can't get over that motherfucker good luck because I don't care who's faking, who's real no more. The world to me doesn't even have emotion. We're living in a world now where everything around me is fake. Like everything, like I don't take none of this shit uh, at face value, nothing. Like um, I've lost too much. I've lost too much and I've understood that, you know, um, as much as I want to give people the benefit of the doubt, they always show me their true character. And, um, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't hold value to that, right? It has it has no accessibility to me. People, if you invest in them, they're gonna they're gonna, nine times out of ten they're gonna be jealous. They're gonna hate. They're gonna do funny shit. They're gonna they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna do like things to like hurt you and all this. And I'm not saying everybody. That's why I said the people that are in my bubble. That's my focus and my focal point. Like anything outside of that, I don't pay no attention. I don't pay it no mind. I just really try to lock in on um, those who are right here in my little bubble, my immediate bubble, and um. You know, I'm really thankful because um, I should have been folded, right? I should have been folded and gave up. Um, you know, and shout out to my lawyer. Like I said earlier in this, in this, in this vlog, like, shout out to my lawyer. Like, you know, I really thank her. We waited six months uh, finally for them to get everything done. And this shit was like, it was a nightmare, man. It was a, it was a fucking nightmare, man. Like, I'm not going to lie. Like, I, you know, go from, you know, losing everything in 2020. It took me, it took me, it took everything in me in 2021 to get to 2022 and then finally 2022 to get to that level of where i make these moves and um a lot of people i feel like um that were clapping for me also were rooting for my failure and i i just i just i don't i don't really care but uh you know crashing that car and then going through that whole thing it had it had me feel like i was stuck in quicksand like um I was fighting a lot of like um mental demons man like like you know what i'm saying that's a that's a to lose 120 like in a in in that kind of move thank god insurance did cut majority of a check to pay the car off and they cut it you know it's just thank you you know what i mean like um you know i've been having to deal with that obviously making sure my businesses don't fail um and making sure I'm still locked in with real estate. Um, real estate is very, very, very um, tricky. It's very, very, um, it's a mind game. You know, um, 
and I learned in real estate that it ain't 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 nobody ain't nobody your friend in that in that business in that industry. Nobody ain't your friend. You got you got a lot. You got about thirty thousand people trying to make money. So um, ain't nobody your friend. You got you got people you can associate yourself with and like you know connect with and talk with and vibe with. But everybody I met in real estate, it's the most. Uh, unallured game I've ever been in you know I've been in a lot of uh I've been around a lot of people I've been I've seen a lot of things in my life but that's the most unallured game I've ever seen like where people are just like um uh, it's like a it's like a very stale uh energy level like um I'm really loud and vibrant -y and like people say I'm flashy I don't really care about any of that uh, I'm just me right but uh, real estate you have it has a different um a different compass and i think you know that's fine you know um you know if that's how people want to move in real estate cool i'm gonna move how i want to move in real estate you know um and move at my pace i'm not comparing myself to nobody i don't care if you sold a thousand million houses i don't care like you know um i've seen every level of real estate and a lot of motherfuckers ain't at peace in real estate a lot of people are stressed out a lot of people are are fucking broke you know what i mean it's all this this rah rah hoo hoo of oh i i got all this this and that and, I, and i'm and i'm thinking in my head like i know the real homie like if there's so many payouts and splits and things of that nature and you're paying people and taxes and all this shit like you can go sell that to people on the internet you know um all that shit don't matter to me unless you capped out you, boy you you work you 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 grinding and you paying out you know what i'm saying so um but that's the it's a long game real estate's a long game it's not like a, a instant gratification business like you have to put in the work you have to build yourself and you have to be branded and you got to be around the right people so the new company i'm with man it's 100 percent commission and, and and i was when i talked i discussed with Brittany, and um you know because we have a, we have a vision i don't want to get into about what we're going to be doing and i think Brittany's on some shit with our other business partner that she's involved with um i think that she's about to go to the next level i'm just happy to be with her man i think that god allowed me to come in this room and, and be around somebody who's really locked in on that, sh on that shit man and i'm just happy to be there with her i've built my own shit um and britney's been like you know a, a, a listening ear a very britney's fucking smart as fuck she's built up multiple businesses and i'm glad i can call her a friend and a business partner like she i don't i don't even move without her no more like the new barbershop she's like gonna be involved 100 percent with paperwork overseeing everything she's built she's what she's built in, in the last 36 months is fucking in, impeccable well, i don't think it's in 36 months like the last like 30 months is impeccable like she's a motherfucking animal so um you know i gotta give tip my half to be and you know she's brought me on board and you know I, I i love her for that man because you know um you gotta find genuine people in this game there's so many fake people and so much bullshit in this industry and in this life we live and get get close to those you don't need a lot of people you don't you need some solid motherfuckers around you and and work with those and and and, and add value to them and and cherish them because i'm telling you man one thing that life has taught me is a, a motherfucker will be a friend today and by five o'clock tomorrow they'll be somewhere else you know what i mean so um and it's getting worse and worse you know um the internet social media and the world is moving at a really fast pace and people are moving a lot different and it's a lot more um it's a lot more scary out here so get where they love you man i'm at the water politics i'm gonna go head to the head to the crib man and um i'm just kind of like you know you know vibing out um and, you know just you know catching this little vibe man like um you know and, and watching the sunset, man, and finding my peace, man, and my happiness, man. That's when I tap in with you guys on YouTube. We got more pod, we got a ton of podcasts we shot are coming up. Uh, more videos, more vlogs, more everything, man. I'm just happy to be, like I said, in this position, man. I'm in, man. I worked really hard. I didn't give up, man. Um, as much as I wanted to, man. As much as I, 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 I grunt and I, 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 I wrestle with this shit, man. I, I'm just, I'm really thankful, man. Like. Uh, and once again, shout out to my attorney, man. She did a phenomenal job. Um, and there's a lot more things in the way. A lot more. More real estate, more Turo. Um, more everything, man. Just more everything. More barbershops. Um, more commercial leasing. I'm doing commercial leasing as well. Um, if you need, if you're looking, if you're looking to start your small business, 
and you're looking to come up, reach out to me. You know what I mean? Um, I'm doing a commercial leasing with Brittany, and that's been a that's been a phenomenal thing. I, I love it because commercial real estate is very, very, very um, important, and it's it's pretty it's pretty dope. Um, I learned a lot from Brittany from commercial leasing and, and commercial real estate in a whole in itself in a whole in itself is dope. So um, there's a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff coming. Um, I want new cars, new houses. Uh, traveling now, I'm ready to get back into traveling. I finally got my case done, and I can travel now. Like I can just get out and do stuff and have fun and just really be free. I want, I'm free now, you guys. Like I feel free. I feel like I'm at peace. I've done so much in my life, and I just, I'm at peace, and I just feel like you know what, what's the next level I'm finna go up to. Everything under here, it, 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 it got me ready for up here, and um, and now I think that's what life's about. You know, every level you go up, you 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 prepare yourself for the next level. You know, until you know. Um, you check out this motherfucker, you know what I mean? And, 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 and in life, you gotta just really, you know, go through the little loopholes, the little bullshit, the little ups and downs and the peaks and the valleys. And, you know, man, I, I don't take it for granted for one second, man. Life is fucking amazing. I'm blessed. I'm a hustler. I'm a motherfucking grinder. I've been through everything under this motherfucking sunlight, you know what I mean? Um, I've lost people, girlfriends, homies. Uh, I've lost money up and down cars. I've lost everything man, and I've got it back I just keep losing it and getting it back. I'm like a fucking basketball. They throw me down I bounce right back to the top You know what I mean? And uh, I'm gonna keep doing that shit. And I got some heavy shit on the way I ain't gonna say too much, but I got some heavy shit on the way man I'm just excited and uh, once again shout out to my lawyer because um, you know you you went you went you went and got shit done and I'm thankful man and shout out to the insurance company. Thank you. You know, what I mean you guys got shit done so um, now we, we, we make our next move and we just keep being quiet because it's a lot finna happen we're gonna we're gonna shake it up a little bit man but i'm gonna sign out this vlog man make sure you guys subscribe to the channel new vlogs in the way more we're trying to get the back end of youtube i lost some subscribers in the process man so make sure you guys hit the subscribe button man and watch these videos and hit the like button man and then go enjoy yourself man go live your life whatever you believe in man go do that shit man go it go attack it go get it go have it go love it go be it man this life is it's, you can be whatever you want in this life man don't limit yourself don't be scared don't be don't be like oh i don't know what to do um and and, and don't cherish don't cherish money right everybody got this whole emphasis of cherishing money right like this shit is not the the it's not it's not the, it's not like the the end all be all of your life like money's cool but i mean get some relationships man See if you can keep some of those, you know, because people can't keep money. They spend more than they got, you know what I mean? But see if you can keep some relationships, because I'm telling you, my relationships um, have done more for me than anything else. So with that being said, it's your boy, it's your boy, it's your boy, it's your boy. Man, we look at this. We're chasing sunsets, man. I made a song like that. It's called Chasing Sunsets, man. Um, you know, um, I wonder, oh, let, me, let me, before we get to that vlog, man, let me, let me play that joint real fast, man. Uh, we made a song called uh, uh, Let me play that song fast before we sign out on this joint, man uh, You know, we're gonna, we gonna, we gonna sign out on this joint uh, Let's see if we can find that real fast Play that sunsets, man. Hold on, we're gonna let we're gonna let YouTube. Hold on, we go. Here we go. We gotta play them sunsets, man. Cause we chasing sunsets. Yeah. Chasing sunsets, baby. I'm in Cabo watching the sunset. Just you feel me? I'm trying to check the vibes and I'm checking the vibes, man. It's life. Nah, nigga, we ain't done yet The way I travel, you would think I chase sunsets We little bread, I don't care what these pumps meant Any nigga move wrong, then we drum set He sent the wine, nah, nigga, I don't see no fun check I get stupid when niggas get the dumb in these sets Nah, nigga, I'm calling no comeback If I had a baby girl, guarantee she can turn his button off Yeah, I'm turning That's what we do, man, I'ma see y'all next one, man, peace